Hello students, welcome back. Let's do decimal fractions exercise 4C. This is on page number 70 and we are doing multiplication. So let's begin. So we are doing multiplication of decimals by 10. Okay, so when you multiply a decimal number by 10, 100, 1000 or a higher power of 10, it's very simple. All you have to do is move the decimal point to the right. And how many places do you move? It depends on the number of zeros there are. Here there's only one zero, so that means the point moves only one place to the right. So let's do that. So let me write this down, 0 0.87 into 10. Now look at 10. 10 has only one zero. That means my point will move only one place to the right and come here. So what do I have? So my answer here will be, instead of writing 0, 08.7, how do we read this? 8.7, so we'll write 8.7. The point has moved one place to the right. So that's how we do multiplication of decimals by 10, 100, 1000 or a higher power of 10. We don't have to do any long multiplication. All we have to do is just move the decimal point to the right. When you multiply, you move the decimal point to the right. Count the number of zeros that are there in 10 or 100 or 1000. And that many places the point will move. So here there's only one zero. So the point is moved only one place to the right. And our answer is 8.7. Next one here, we have 2.948 by 100. So let's write that down. So we have 2.948, multiply this by 100. Now look at the number of zeros that are there in uh, 100. 100 has two zeros, 1, 2. So the point which is here will move two places to the right. So we have 1, 2 places and the point will come here. So now what's our number? We write 294.8 and how do we read this? 294.8. Question 3. Here we have 6.4 by 1000. So 6.4 multiply this by 1000. So here again, now since we have three zeros, the point will move three places to the right. So now let's move the point three places to the right. So we have one place. Now two, three. Now the point should come here. So what do we do in these two gaps here? We put two zeros. So the point has now moved three places to the right because there are three zeros in 1000. So now what's our answer? Now we write 6400. Zero, zero. That means 6400. The next question, 5.8 by 4. So this time it's not 10 or 100 or 1000. So let's work this out properly. Now what do we do in such a case when we multiply a decimal number by a whole number, you're going to first ignore the point and multiply. So if I ignore the point, what will I read my number as? 58. So this becomes 58 into 4. Okay, so I'm going to ignore the point and I'm going to write 58 into 4. And let me do that multiplication. 58 into 4. So 4 eights are 32, carry 3. 4 fives are 20 plus 3 is 23. So I do normal multiplication. Then I'm going to go back to my question and see how many decimal places there are in the question. What are decimal places? The number of digits that are there after the decimal point. So here there is only one decimal place. That means in my answer also there should be only one decimal place. That means after the point there should be only one digit. So my point will come here. So what is my number now? 23.2. So my answer here is 23.2. Question 5. So here we have question 5 here. 16.32 by 28. We're going to ignore the point and multiply. So that will become 1632 multiplied by 28. So let's do normal multiplication. A2 is a 16 carry 1. 8 3s are 24 plus 1, 25, carry 2. 8 6s are 48 plus 2 is 50, carry 5. 8 1s are 8 plus 5 is 13. So I have this number here. I'm going to do my second step. 2 2s are 4. 2 3s are 6. 
2 6 are 12 carry 1 2 1s are 2 plus 1 is 3 now let's add this up now we have 6 5 plus 4 is 9 then we have 6 3 plus 2 is 5 1 plus 3 is 4 so now i've got 45696 but i need to go back to my question and check the number of decimal places in my question in my question there are two decimal places can you see after the point there are two digits so my answer also should have two decimal places so my point has to come here so that after the point there will be only two digits so let's write down our final answer our final answer is 456.96 so this is our final answer next one here let's write down the question ignoring the point it will be 5037 multiply this by 8 so let's multiply 8 7s are 56 carry 5 8 3s are 24 plus 5 is 29 carry 2 8 zeros are 0 so we bring the 2 down 8 5s are 40 so here we have got 40296 but let's go back to the question and check the number of decimal places 1 2 3 so our answer also should have three decimal places. That means after the point, there should be three digits. So the point will come here. So what is our answer now? 40.296. Let's write that answer here. The final answer here is 40.29 and 6. So let's circle the final answer. So we have our answer here. Question 7, 4.6 by 2.1. So let's multiply. This time both are decimal numbers. Can you see? This is a decimal number. This is also a decimal number. We are going to ignore the point and multiply 4 to 6 by 21. So let's multiply 4 to 6 into 21. 1 6 are 6, 1 4 are 4. Then the second step, 2 6 are 12, carry 1. 2 4 are 8 plus 1 is 9. Now let's add this up. 6, then 4 plus 2 is 6 again, and then 9. We have 966. Now we need to go back to the question and count the number of places. Here, 4.6 has one decimal place, and 2.1 has one decimal place. That means 1 plus 1, totally there are two decimal places. That means our answer also should have two decimal places, so the point will come here. So what is the final answer? 9.66. Next one, the eighth one is here. 0 0.568 by 6.4. Again, both are decimal numbers. Let's ignore the point and multiply. So that becomes 568 into 64. We have ignored the point for the time being. We'll put back the point later. 4 rates are 32, carry 3. 4 6 are 24, plus 3 is 27, carry 2. 4 5s are 20 plus 2 is 22. Now the next step we are starting with a 0. So we will put a 0 there. 6 8s are 48. Carry 4. 6 6 are 36 plus 4 is 40. Carry 4. 6 5s are 30 plus 4 is 34. So we finished our multiplication. Let's add it up. 2. 7 plus 8 is 15. Carry 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 4 is 6 and 3. So now again let's go back to our question and count the number of decimal places in both these numbers. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 3 decimal places. Here we have 1. So together when you add it up you have 4 decimal places. That means in your answer after the point there should be 4 digits. So you can move from the right when you have many numbers like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 and then put your point. So the point comes here. So what is our final answer here? 3.6352. Question 2. Multiply each number by 10, 100 and 1000. So a few numbers have been given to us. First we multiply by 10 and then by 100 and then by 1000. So first we have 0 0.5 into 10. Now multiplication by 10 or 100 or 1000. You know numbers ending in zeros like this and a higher power of 10, it's very easy. All we have to do is move the decimal point to the right. So count the number of zeros in the multiplier 
and if the according to the number of zeros we move the point to the right so here there's only one zero so the point will move only one place to the right that means this is one decimal place on the right side and it's going to come here so what will the number be zero five how do we read it we simply read it as five so here zero five point zero the point will come here but we can ignore the point because after that it's a zero so it's simply five and here we have 0 0.5 into 100 100 has two zeros so the point has to move two places to the right so here the point will come after this place also so what do we put in this place we put a zero so what do we get here 0 0.50 0. 0. okay so instead of that how do we read this number 50 so we just have to write 50 in the next one there are three zeros so the point has to move three places to the right i already have one two three so the point will come here that means i need to put two zeros here so now my number will be 500.0 or simply 500 okay you don't have to write the zero before that next one 0 0.112 into 10 so 10 has one zero the point will move one place to the right it will come here so it will be 1.12, you don't have to write the 0 before that, 1.12. Multiply by 100, two zeros, the point will move two places to the right and come here. So what does it become? 11.2. Then the next one, this time by 1000, three zeros, so the point will move 1, 2, 3, three places to the right. So if I remove that 0 also, it becomes 112. 0 0.0 or simply 112. Question 3, 4.8 into 10. So again, there's only one zero here. So the point moves one place to the right. So the point moves and comes here. One place to the right, so it becomes 48.0 or 48. Next, we multiply by 100. The point has to move two places to the right and come here. From here, it will come here. So in this empty space, we put a zero. So now the number is 480.0 or 480. Next, when you multiply it by 1000, the point has to move three places, one, two, three, and then come here. So two zeros, so that is 4800.0 or 4800. Question four, 0 0.0359 into 10. One zero point moves one place to the right and comes here. Now here we don't say zero zero point three five nine. Instead, we just put one zero zero point three five nine. Next, into hundred there are two zeros, so the point moves two places and comes here. Okay, so what's our answer? It's not zero zero three point five nine. Now, suppose I have to write that to 0, 0, 0,003.59, isn't it? Now, how do we read this? We read this as 3.59. So, we just have to write that. We just have to write 3.59. Next one, the point moves three places to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, and the point comes here. So, this number now it will be 0, 0, 0035.9, isn't it? Now read the number 35.9. So you can ignore these zeros. 35.9, and that's our answer. 35.9. Question 5. Here we have 16.27 into 10. 10 has 1 0, the point will move one place to the right. So, one zero point moving one place to the right, the point comes here. So, how will we read this number now? 162.7. And we're going to multiply that same thing by 100. 100 has two zeros. Point will move two places to the right and come here. So, from here it comes here. So, that becomes 1627.0 or simply 1627. Then multiplication by 1000, 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3 and then the point comes here. So when the point comes here, how do we read the number? 
that will be 16,270.0 or 16,270. Question 6, 234.8 into 10, point moves one place to the right and comes here. So it moves here. So what does our number become? 2348.0 or 2348. Next one, this time we multiply by 100. That has two zeros. So one and two and the point comes here. So from here it comes there. So now we're going to add a zero here. So what do we get here? Two, three, four, eight, zero. How do we read this number? 23,480. Next. We're going to multiply by 1000, 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3, and then the point comes. So we're going to put two more zeros here and remove the other point. So this becomes 2, 3, 4, 8, 0, 0. Okay, so let's read this number. It's a large number. Let's put commas in the right place and read it. 2,34,800. Question 3, evaluate. So here... We have one decimal number multiplied by the other decimal number. So what do we do? Ignore the point and multiply like multiplying two normal numbers and then put back the point. So let's ignore the point here. What does the number become? 5897 and this will become 23. So let's do that. 5897. 5897 into 23. Normal multiplication. 3 7s are 21. Carry 2. 3 9s are 27. Plus 2, 28, 29. Carry 2. 3 8s are 24. 25, 26. Carry 2. 3 5s are 15, 16, 17. Second step, we start with a 0. Now 2 7s are 14. Carry 1. 2 9s are 18. Plus 1, 19. Carry 1. 2 A's are 16 plus 1, 17. Again, here carry 1. 2 5's are 10 plus 1, 11. So now let's add this up. 1. 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. Carry 1. 7 plus 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. Carry 1. 1, 2, 3. And then we have 1 here. Now let's go back to the question and see how many decimal places there are. Here there are 1, 2, 3 and here there is 1. That means 3 plus 1. This is 3 plus 1. So there are 4 decimal places. That means our answer also should have 4 decimal places. So let's count from the right and move to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4 and the point comes here. 4 decimal places, isn't it? So now we put the point here. Now count how many decimal places there are. After the point, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's write the answer here. 13.5631. Question 2, 0 0.894 into 87. Let's ignore the point. So it becomes simply 894 into 87. Now let's multiply. 7, 4s are 28, carry 2. 7 9s are 63, 64, 65, carry 6. 7 8s are 56, plus 6 is 62. Second step, 8 4s are 32, carry 3. 8 9s are 72, plus 3 is 75, carry 7. 8 8s are 64, plus 7 is 71. Now let's add this up. 8, 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 5 is 7, 6 plus 1 is 7, and we have one more 7 here. Now let's go back to the question and count the number of decimal places. We have 1, 2, 3, that means the answer also there should be 1, 2, 3. So starting from the right, 1, 2, 3, and we put a point here. So now you can see, isn't it, after the point we have three decimal places. So what is our final answer? Final answer is 77.778. Question 3. 0 0.01 into 0 0.001. If you ignore the point, this becomes 1 and this also becomes 1. 1 into 1 is simply 1. But look at the number of decimal places. Here we have 1, 2. That is 2 places here. 1, 2, 3. There are 3. 
2 plus 3, totally we should have 5 decimal places. That means after the point, there should be 5 digits. So we're going to start from the right and move towards the left and get 5 places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then we put a point. So in all these places where a number is missing, we're going to put a 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So what is our final answer? Our final answer is 0. Point four zeros one two three four and one. So this is our final answer. Now here before the point we didn't have any number, that's why we put a zero. And we have four zeros here because totally there are five decimal places. Now look at our answer. Do we have five decimal places? After the point, how many digits are there? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five decimal places here. Now let's go to the next question. Here you can see there are three numbers, isn't it? So first thing is we multiply two numbers, any two numbers. So we'll take the first and the second. And the answer that you get, you multiply with the third number. So here, let's take 0 0.84 into 2.2. So ignore the point and multiply 84 into 22. Two fours are eight, two eights are 16. Second step again, two fours are eight, two eights are 16. So now we add it up, 8, 6 plus 8 is 14, carry 1, 6, 7, 8, 1, 1848. After multiplying two numbers, now we have to multiply by 4. So we are ignoring the point, remember, so 1848, that is 1848 into 4. 4 eights are 32, carry 3, 4 fours are 16, plus 3 is 19, Carry 1, 4 is a 32 plus 1, 33. Carry 3, 4, 1 is a 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now let's go back to the question and see how many decimal places there are. Now here after the point there are 2 and here after the point there are, there is 1. So 2 plus 1, so that's totally 3 decimal places. So our final answer should have 3 decimal places. So starting from the right, let's count 1, 2, 3 and the point comes here. So here the point comes. So what is our final answer? Our final answer here will be 7.392. Question 5, 4.75 into 0 0.08 into 3. We can take up any two numbers. Let's take up these. So let's ignore the point and multiply. So that will become 475 into 8. Simply into 8. 8 fives are 40, carry 4, 8 sevens are 56, plus 4 is 60, carry 6, 8 fours are 32, plus 6 is 38. So here we have 3800 into 3. So let's multiply that, 3800 into 3. 3 zeros are 0, 3 zeros are 0, 3 eights are 24, carry 2, 3 threes are 9, 10, 11. So now let's go back to the question. Here, how many decimal places there are? There are 2. Here also there are 2. So 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, there are 4 decimal places. That means in our answer also there should be 4 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and the point must come here between the two ones. So let's put the point here. So now it is 1.1400. So let's write our answer. 1. 0.14. Now we can ignore the zeros because the zeros that come after a decimal number does not count. So what's the final answer? 1.14. Next one, 2.4 into 3.5 into 4.8. So let's take up the first two numbers. Ignore the point and multiply. 24 into 35. 5 fours are 20, carry 2. 5 twos are 10, 11, 12. Second step, 3 fours are 12. Carry 1, 3 twos are 6 plus 1, 7. Let's add this up. 0, 4, 7 plus 1 is 8, 840. Now we're going to do 840 into 48 because we're going to ignore the point into 48. 8 zeros are 0, 8 fours are 32. Carry 3, 8 eights are 64 plus 3 is 67. Second step, 4 zeros are 0, 4 fours are 16. Carry 1. 4 eights are 32 plus 1 is 33. So here let's add it up 0, 2, 
7 plus 6 is 13, carry 1. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10, carry 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So now back to the question, let's count the number of decimal places. Here is 1, 1 and 1. So this is 1 plus 1 plus 1. So totally there are 3 decimal places. Our answer also should have 3. So we'll starting from here, 1, 2, 3. So the point will come here after 40. So it's here. So what is our final answer? Our final answer is 40.320 or simply 32. 40.32. Next question, 0 0.8 into 1.2 into 0 0.25. Let's multiply these two. Ignore the point and multiply 8 into 12 or simply 12 into 8. 8 2s are 16, carry 1, 8 1s are 8, plus 1, 9. So that's 9 to 6 into, ignore the point and write, 25. So 9 to 6 into 25. 5 6 are 30, carry 3. 5, three, five 9s are 45, plus 3 is 48. 2 6 are 12, carry 1. 2 9s are 18, plus 1, 19. So let's add this up. 0, 8 plus 2 is 10, carry 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4 is 14, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2,400. Let's go back to the question. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four decimal places. That is 1 plus 1 plus 2 is totally 4. So four decimal places in the question, it should be 4 in the answer also. So, where will our point come? Let's start from the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. The point will come here. So, if I put a point here, since there's no number before it, I can put a 0. So, what is my final answer? Final answer is 0 0.24. I can ignore the zeros that come after an, a decimal number. So, it's simply 0 0.24. Question 8. 0 0.3 into 0 0.03 into 0 0.003. If you ignore the point, what does it become? 3 into 3 into 3. Isn't it? 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27. So we get 27. But we have to go back to the question and count all the decimal places. So here there is 1 plus, here there are 2 plus, here there are 1, 2, 3, 3. So totally how many places? 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So our answer is not 27. We have to get the decimal place correctly. So let's do that. Our answer should have 6 decimal places. So moving from the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means a point comes here. So we fill up all these blanks with 0. So 1, 0 here, 2, 3, 4. And before the point, there's no number, so we put up 0 there also. So what is our answer? 0 point, how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 7. So what's our final answer? 0 point, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 7. So that's four zeros after the point, and then you write 2, 7. So children, we've finished with multiplication for the first three questions. And we'll continue with the remaining questions in our next video. Thank you, children.